Hello everyone, in a previous video I showed you how to work with the geographical distance calculation data function. Today we're going to talk about transforming CRS coordinates and geometries in Spotfire 14.5. A coordinate reference system, or CRS, defines how we represent locations on Earth. CRSs are uniquely identified by an EPSG code. The most familiar one is WGS84 or EPSG4326, which uses latitude and longitude. This is what GPS uses. But the CRS is more than just coordinates. It includes assumptions about the shape of the Earth, like a sphere, the point of origin and the orientation of the coordinate axis. Because different CRSs serve different purposes, it's not just about converting everything to the same system. It is also about choosing the appropriate CRS for the task, whether measuring distance, comparing areas or preserving shapes. In this analysis, we have three datasets expressed in different CRSs, University of Wisconsin campuses in EPSG 4326, major roads in EPSG 3071, transportation boundaries in EPSG 3071. Thanks to Spotfire's powerful mapping capabilities, we can overlay them visually because we can specify a different CRS for each map layer. However, if we want to perform calculations that involve using these datasets together, we need to transform them or reproject them to a common CRS. Let's first convert the marker layer, the campuses, into an EPSG 3071. I'll go to my analytics flyout and select CRS transformation for coordinates. For X or latitude, I'll make sure that I have selected my latitude column. Same for the longitude. Source CRS will be 4326 and target CRS will be 3071. Then I'll just click OK. I will get my data in a new data table. The output is first coordinate and second coordinate corresponding to the new latitude and longitude in CRS 3071. To demonstrate to you that the transformation was successful, I will add a new map chart. And you can notice that I have an error. That's because I need to select the correct CRS for my marker layer. I will go to layers and layer settings for my marker layer, positioning, and I'll make sure that I use coordinate columns. So I'll select first coordinate for my X column and second coordinate for my Y column. And then finally, I'll go to the data tab and select the correct CRS. And as you can see, the marker layer appeared on the map. Let's now convert the feature layers into a CRS 4326. As you can see, those datasets don't have longitude and latitude columns, but geometry columns. A geometry column is a binary column containing the input geometry in a well-known binary format or WKB. So we cannot use the CRS transformation for coordinates, but we should use CRS transformation for geometry's data function. I'll go again to my analytics flyout and select CRS transformation for geometries. I'll now select the correct inputs for geometry column. I'll select major road is data table and geometry is column. Source CRS will be 3071 and target CRS will be 4326. I'll just rename the data table. And I'll repeat the process for the transportation boundaries. Now, to demonstrate you that the transformation was successful, I will rebuild the map chart, but this time using the new data tables with the projected coordinates. I'll go ahead and add a map chart and then uh, make sure that I use the correct feature layer uh, with the projected coordinates. And then just fix the colors for the major roads. And do the same thing now and add the universities as marker layer and change the colors for the transportation boundaries. 
And that was it for today. Stay tuned for more data functions in Spotfire 14.5 and don't forget to like and subscribe.